Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world, throughout the galaxy. <laughs> My name is Greg Prescott from M5D.com and Zentasia.com. And you're looking live at Siesta Key Beach. It's chilly out here today. Looks beautiful probably as you're watching, but I'll tell you what, for Florida, it's cold. It's probably 50 something barefooted <laughs> my feet are freezing so I got to keep moving uh, quick shout out to Aaron and Monica Kayla Kirk Mary Rochelle Deb Jennifer namaste good morning so you guys are joining me on my beach walk I've been doing this every day since I got back from the Waves of Light Conference Cruise, which went to Cozumel, Mexico. And it's been four days since I started my diet. I've changed my diet around drastically. Cut out, I cut out uh, sugar and bread. Lots of worthless carbs, although they're yummy. I mean, gosh, who doesn't like pizza and pasta, but So I did that, throw the sunglass a little bright out. Um, I'm also taking a plethora of different uh, supplements. Whoops, <laughs> dropped yet. <laughs> but I'm taking a bunch of supplements right now as well. Uh, starting out with uh, Garcinia Cambogia, which is great for weight loss. I think I take three of those twice a day. Uh, magnesium, zinc, turmeric, apple cider vinegar capsules. You know, before I was taking actually taking the apple cider vinegar uh, with a little water and trying to drink that down, but it just tastes horrible. It's like the worst tasting thing you could drink. <laughs> I know some people might have an acquired taste for apple cider vinegar. It's horrible. So I bought the capsules for it and it works equally as well and it doesn't have that nasty taste to it. So take an apple. So Garcinia, Cambogia, magnesium, zinc, apple cider vinegar, turmeric, activated charcoal. I'm doing that twice a day as well. And uh, hemp oil twice a day. Uh, those are the main ones that I'm taking every day. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm basically on a uh, I guess it's kind of an Atkins diet, a lot of protein and vegetables. You know, I guess ideally for me. You know, yes, I am a meat eater and I do eat organic beef. But uh, ideally, if I had to go on any kind of diet, it would probably be, I'd probably be a fruitarian. <laughs> Especially if I had to butcher my own meat. I couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. So I guess ideally I'd be a fruitarian. But what I'm doing is basically eggs for breakfast, maybe a burger for lunch and chicken for dinner. And throw some green beans in there, maybe some salad. Uh, and that's it, very light on the salad dressing. So I'm gonna do this for a few weeks. Uh, so far I've lost 8.8 .8 pounds in four days. So whatever I'm doing is working, <laughs> you know. But I think part of that too is I have a guided meditation that I listen to. It's by Asho. And you can basically tailor that guided meditation to whatever part of the body you want to address. And in this case, you know, for me, it's uh, addressing the excess weight. And I just basically envision the weight, the weight melting off. And, that, you know, that's, so that's where I'm at on that. Um, I'm also... <laughs> Did some re house rearrangements and I unburied my weight bench and weights that were that were buried under a ton of stuff so got them unburied and started lifting today so I'm incorporating that into it and I'm looking forward to you know how this will affect my diet as well they say that you know muscle weighs more than 
fat, so there might come a time at some point where I plateau and actually start putting muscle back on. I was into a weightlifting regimen, I don't know, in 2017 or so, and I did that for close to a year. And I was probably in the best shape of my life, even in my 50s, you know, compared to even in my 20s. So that was only a couple of years ago. And uh, my goal is to lose 30 pounds in three months. I've done this um, diet in the past where, and I'm gonna be doing this in a couple weeks. I'm gonna do this particular protein diet for the first couple weeks. Then I'm, then I'm gonna shift it around to a diet that I know that works for me as well. And that involves just keeping my saturated fat to 10 grams or less. And that, that diet is so easy. Uh, I've got an article on body, mind, soul, spirit on how to lose three, 30 pounds in three months, 10 pounds a month. And basically what you do on that diet is you just watch your saturated fat. Now there are some saturated fats that are good saturated fats like avocado oil or coconut oil. You don't count those. Uh, for, for example, if you were to make chicken and we're, if you were to fry it in the fry pan in avocado oil under you know, medium low heat uh, that's perfect whatever saturated fat in there that, that's used in that does not count because as I mentioned the medium chain saturated fats actually burn fat so you don't count those it's just the saturated fat that I want to get rid of is the nasty one so I, I have a feeling that you know once I do a couple weeks of this and switch it over to that just kind of jump start my diet and then I'll bounce back and forth I don't know you know this is it's day by day or actually week by week at this point but I did make a two-week commitment to the protein diet that I'm on right now and then after that I'm going to go back to the 10 grams of saturated fat per day now in that diet, as opposed to this one, the one I'm currently on, which is basically a lot of protein, in the 10 grams of saturated fat per day, of course minus the avocado oil and you know, like I said, you don't count that, or you don't count like coconut oil or you know the beneficial medium chain saturated fats. But that diet would be different. So for example, this diet I'm currently on, I, I might have, like I said, eggs for breakfast, uh, burger for lunch, and chicken for dinner. On this other diet, the 10 grams of saturated fat per day, that would be oatmeal for breakfast. And maybe like a, one of the healthier, <laughs> if there's such a thing, uh, lean cuisines for lunch, which only has like one or two grams of saturated fat. And then, because I've only had one or two grams of saturated fat for the entire day, I could actually have a burger for dinner if I wanted that. Or something that is a little bit higher in saturated fat and not feel bad about it. I've done that diet for three months and lost 30 pounds doing it. So here we are in January, you know, and a lot of us have put on a little extra weight, especially after coming back from a cruise. Um, you know, that's, you know, the, the meals on a cruise boat are okay. <laughs> Nothing great, but gosh, they're loaded in salt and all sorts of crap and certainly not organic. <laughs> but it's good to flush the system out once in a while, especially coming off the holidays where, you know, in the wintertime where we're less mobile, we're not as active uh, this time of the year. You know, we tend to put on weight and you know I'm no different than the rest of you guys for most of most of us at least you know, we put on a couple extra winter pounds and it's time to get rid of them so I'm looking to have my beach body back by April if not beforehand and uh, so that's that's my motivation and what I do you know so far all I've been doing is walking an hour every day come out to the beach to get my grounding in uh, walk for an hour I listen to the show meditation on whatever like I said it's a, it's a basic ge uh, generic meditation but you can fo 
focus on whatever it is that you're trying to find or to, trying to accomplish uh, within your body. And for me this time, it's uh, weight loss. So as I mentioned, I'm just envisioning the weight melting off. And it is. So like I said, 8.8 .8 pounds, almost nine, nine pounds in four days. And I'm not starving myself. It's great. Some of the supplements that I'm taking, well, the apple cider vinegar is really good for the whole digestive process. The Garcinia Cambogia, I forgot the name of the brand. I bought it on Amazon and I just reordered more apple cider vinegar and Garcinia Cambogia two days ago. I should have it tomorrow. But uh, the Garcinia Cambogia, that, I was reading the reviews on that on Amazon. And there were so many cool reviews. Uh, so many people uh, swear by this stuff. Many of the people said they lost exorbitant amounts, amounts of weight without doing anything. No exercise. They kept, they ate the same thing as they normally did and didn't exercise. And they just found that the weight was melting off. And we're talking you know, 20, 30, 40 or more pounds of fat that they ended up getting rid of just through Garcinia Cambogia. What I'll do is when I get back, I'll put a link in here um, for the supplements that I'm using and you guys can check them out yourself. But it seems to be working and I'm really happy with that. Let me uh, give you a shot of the beach right now. So a quick uh, good morning to Peggy and Jessica, Kathleen, Sabine, Linda, Carla, Connie, Ashley, Jean, Jennifer, Carol, another Christine, Carl, Holly, Norma, Roxanne, Donna, Karina, Kumara, Marjorie, Reb, Audrey, this is great. I love seeing all of you here. It means that I'm not as badly blocked as what I was beforehand. But you're looking live at Siesta Key Beach. The watercolor looks a lot better than what it has in the past year. <laughs> it's awfully windy out here, so I apologize for any uh, wind that's blowing into the microphone. But yeah, the watercolor color looks great. It's almost back to where it should be. It's really, really, really close. Water temperature is really cold. <laughs> well, at least for Florida, it's cold. Uh, I would say it's probably 65 at the most. Air temperature right now is cold. <laughs> My toes are really cold even though I'm walking, like I said, I'm barefooted. And as beautiful as it looks out right now, while you're watching this, it's cold. <laughs> it's probably, I'd say 50, 55 tops. But you guys know me, I'm always barefooted. I like getting that actual grounding, the connection of my feet into the soil. So, you know what, if it gets too cold, I just walk quicker, right? <laughs> We're heading north as you're watching this on Siesta Key Beach. You can already see the, the main beach lifeguard houses. It takes about an hour and 45 minutes for me to walk all the way down to the end, which is where I brought you guys the last time I did this. Um, yeah, about an hour and 45 minutes to walk all the way down and back. And that's good. I try to, I've been trying to keep my walks to about an hour, but sometimes I just get so caught up in it, I don't, I don't want to stop. <laughs> so I just keep going. So I've noticed that with this government shutdown, I've been still seeing chemtrail planes, although today we don't see any. 
Oh, uh, wait, what's that? And what's that behind? Yeah, we do see some. Facing north, we don't. But what does that tell us? It tells us that the shadow government is still doing their thing despite the government shutdown. So, just food for thought to take in. Another interesting thing that I noticed on the news is that all these journalists from various news websites have been laid off. I think it's over a thousand from like Huffington Post, Yahoo, and so on and so forth. And it just is quite the coincidence that they're being laid off during this government shutdown. Who was really paying for them? <laughs> Maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe it's because people are just tired of fake news. But I find it very ironic that there's all these layoffs going on uh, in the fake news industry now that the government is on a partial shutdown and perhaps they're no longer longer being paid by who knows who. <laughs> so just food for thought. How are, how are all of you doing today? Feeling any shift changes? Today's high pitch frequency is a G sharp. So you might get some crown chakra or third eye uh, tingling going on. Um, activity in the, in the head, uh, maybe headaches. And I believe it cusps the G sharp, I believe, cusps the third eye and the throat chakra. So it might be time to speak your truth. If you're not speaking your truth, maybe you'll have, you know, difficulties, perhaps coughing or getting, uh, you know, just a little itch in your throat. But stand, stand in your power. Don't be afraid to say, hey, this is me and this, this is who I am. This is what I represent. More and more, every day, we're all doing that. So I got some exciting news about N5D. Well, number one... If you didn't hear beforehand, um, I had some issues with N5D being hacked. Somebody got in, made themselves an admin of the N5D Facebook page and was posting horrible videos on there. Now, most of you guys know, <laughs> you know me and, you know, I've been doing this for 10 years. You know, that's not my style to do crap like that. And most of you knew that I was hacked and a lot of people would give me uh, private messages as a heads up and I appreciate that to all of you thank you but that's been resolved and the people that did that are no longer on Facebook and changed the password everything's good to go second news this is pretty big you know, I've been waiting for various people to come around and put together the right platform but I think I'm gonna do it on my own. And what that entails is, on N5D what I'll have is, I'm gonna incorporate Zoom uh, videos on there. And what we're gonna do is build basically a huge library of material and uh, of everything on every topic. Because there's so many things I've written about but I haven't made videos about. You know, just for example, um, walk-ins or how to find your life purpose and stuff like that, you know. Uh, I've written about them and, you know, throughout the years, things get buried on N5D, but we're gonna bring them to the forefront and it's gonna be right out there in the open. Uh, everybody can access what we're putting out there, you know, through N5D. And uh, it's going to be really exciting. And what I'm hoping to do is, as this gets larger and bigger, uh, to bring on more people to host their own shows as well on N5D, through N5D, through Zoom. And uh, it's to me, it's a great way of bypassing all the political BS on Facebook and YouTube. So it's a win-win for everyone. And... Uh, 
you know, as, like I said, as, as it grows, I'll be looking to bring on more people. So if you got, actually have a show, what I'll be doing, stay tuned to N5D. I'll be posting a email link uh, where if you're interested in having your own show on N5D, let me know. Because whatever we have on N5D is open for its own show. You know, ascension, spiritual awakening, meditation, astrology, right down the line. UFOs, extraterrestrials. So that's good. That's going to be exciting. So, you know, maybe, maybe you know, we'll, we'll be like the poor man's version of Gaia without an agenda, a Luciferian agenda, you know? Who knows? But it, it'll be really exciting, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, launching this as soon as possible. Well, I'm looking at a launch of probably within the month, and I'll, I'll be joined by Michelle Walling, who's um, working on this project with me, and she'll be doing a lot of uh, shows again. We're going to get back, both of us are going to get back into interviews as well, interviewing uh, na big names in this genre that we enjoy listening to ourselves. So exciting. Sorry about the wind. I'm going to turn around and hopefully block the wind a little right now. But that's that's what that's what's on the horizon. So what we're taking is what we have and moving beyond and making something bigger and better. So really excited about that. Quick shout out to everyone that's joining right now. Patrick, Kimmy, Rodney, Melissa, Bethany, that's Donald, Courtney, Paige, Kathleen's asking, you live in Siesta Key, Greg? Yes. Yeah. So, it's, it's, was the number one beach until we had all the red tide issues. But it seems like the red tide is gone. And, uh, looks much better hopefully that's a that's a done deal oh thank you Bethany Bethany wished a successful launch I'm really excited about this um, it's something that's needed and uh, it'd be nice to have one place where people can go without any kind of agenda you know you know, as we heard, I don't know the validity of it, but there was some kind of Luciferian agenda associated with Gaia. We don't need that. You know, and it's too bad because there was a lot of good people on Gaia that were putting out great information, except the people at the top were co-opted and they ended up losing a lot of people, subscribers. But it would be really cool to bring aboard a lot of people, a lot of different people. And, you know, once once I can afford it, I'll keep bumping up the Zoom package where, for example, the next level I can bring on 50 different hosts, which would be awesome. Uh, so, you know, right off the bat, once this gets up and going, we will probably be looking for up to 50 people who want to host their own show. And uh, how exciting would that be? Ideally, you know, the vision is to have programming 24-7 where you can just hang out and watch different shows all throughout the day. You know, ideally, we would have people from Europe that would be posting. For example, in my time would be maybe 7 o'clock in the morning, but in their time would be 3 o'clock in the morning and reaching all the people out there, you know, and we'd have constant material to be shown all throughout the day. I mean, think about that. This is what I do usually at night when I go to bed. I, I listen to like really cool YouTube videos, but a lot of people are getting away from YouTube because of the censor censorship and everything. And what we're trying to do is find a different platform where we're not censored and we're not relying on Facebook either. So this kind of addresses both issues and gives us something where we have the freedom to do whatever we want to do. And that's to talk about spirituality. So that's what I'm looking for, and I'm looking for every asset of, uh, 
every aspect of spirituality, including you know those who are truthers that are going out there that are saying the truth. I think a lot of us started out as truthers, you know, you know learning about 9/11 and fluoride being a neurotoxin and chemtrails and stuff like that. That's where a lot of people begin their awakening. And uh, as you move on, you realize that there are, you know, a lot of this stuff really doesn't matter, that none of this is real to begin with, and that the only thing eternal is our soul. And we're here for the experience, basically. But it has to begin somewhere, and that's where it begins. So I'll be looking for hosts, like I said, from basically every every category that's on N5B, I'll be looking for a host on there. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, stay tuned to N5B and I'll be posting an email link uh, for people who are interested. I haven't made the email link up yet, uh, but and I still have some work to do on building the page, the, the landing page for it as well, but it's gonna be awesome. It will be on N5D though. So you don't have to go, go anywhere else. Just n5d.com. And that's about it for that. So if you're tuning in, just recently tuning in, joining me on a walk on Siesta Key Beach. It's chilly here, it doesn't look chilly far as from what you can see unless you're looking at the people that are bundled up on their walks <laughs> but it's cold I'm barefooted it's about 50 out the winds blowing and uh, I gotta be barefooted so I can get that grounding in you know just feel it and if my toes get cold I'll just walk faster but I'm on a diet now doing a new diet if you missed the beginning I'm doing basically a protein diet where I'll have eggs for breakfast, burger for lunch, chicken for dinner. And uh, I'm going to do that for a couple weeks. So far I've lost 8.8 .8 pounds in four days. So it's working really well. I'm also taking a, uh, a plethora of different supplements, including Garcinia Cambogia. I'm taking three of those two times a day. Uh, magnesium, zinc, apple cider vinegar capsules because apple cider vinegar just sucks <laughs> to drink with a little water. It's, it's just horrible, horrible tasting, but it's so good for you. So I figured, okay, I want the benefits, but I don't want the nasty taste. So I started buying the capsules. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll leave links for all this stuff in this video so you can check back later for those when I get back. Um, I'm taking turmeric, I believe that's twice a day, one capsule twice a day. I think it's like 500 and some odd milligrams of that. I've taken uh, one activated charcoal capsule twice a day and hemp oil. So a lot of good stuff. I'm trying to cleanse my body out. Lots of water, lots of uh, ozone water. Ozone alkaline water, preferably, but lots and lots of ozone water. Um, so, doing the flush, flush it out my system. A lot of us put on a little extra weight over the holidays, and it's time to get rid of that stuff, flush it out. So, as I mentioned, I'm going to do that for two weeks, and two weeks later, I'm going to go for the saturated fat diet that I've already done in the past. I, on that diet, I've lost 30 pounds in, in uh, 60 days, or 90 days, three months. 30 pounds in three months. And that's basically just watching your saturated fat. So you can have like oatmeal for breakfast, a lean cuisine, that's maybe one or two grams of saturated fat for lunch, and a burger for dinner if you want that. You know, by, the, by that point, you have a lot of room to work with. So you can basically have whatever you want for dinner. Now, saturated fats, as I mentioned, certain saturated fats you don't count. And those are medium chain saturated fats. And that would include like avocado oil and coconut oil. Those actually burn fat. So 
you don't even count that. You don't even look to cook as much as you can with those, as a matter of fact. Like, for example, if you're making chicken for dinner, just put it on medium low heat with some avocado oil, and you're good to go. So, I'll be doing that. My goal is to lose 30 pounds in three months again, and I'm going to weigh almost nine pounds in four days. I know that'll plateau off here probably in the next week and you know I'll be lucky if I lose a pound every other day but meanwhile you know what I'm using these uh, this guided meditation by the show and I'm just envisioning this weight melting off of me so and it's working <laughs> so I'm not gonna put any limitations on this by saying what I just said I'm, I, I retract that I'm gonna continue to lose as much weight as I want until I get to the weight of where I want to be so I'm gonna wrap it up. I have uh, my buddy Randall Sanders is uh, coming over. He fixed two of my computers, my laptops, two of my older laptops. Uh, so I should not be without a laptop here anytime soon. If one if one happens to go down, I got two more now as a backup. I'm very grateful for Randall and helping me getting those back in shape and ready ready to go. So, I'm going to leave it off at that. I want to thank everyone for joining me. Some big things are coming up on the horizon for N5D, so stay tuned to that. I'm going to be looking for some hosts. If you're interested in starting your own show, own show, make a comment so I can at least see your name and get familiar with who you are and what kind of show you want, might want to do. And that way I'll look out for your email when I actually put out the email for those who are interested in having their own show on my site. So that's it for now. I'm going to leave it off with that. I'm sending you all infinite love and light. This is Greg from in5d.com and Zentasia.com. Peace.